Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Kawasaki Ninja E1 and Kawasaki ZE1 first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Kawasaki has finally entered the entry-level motorcycle segment with two all-new EVs inspired by its popular sellers. As electric motorcycles gain more traction, it's only fair mainstream bike makers launch an attack on what is an otherwise startup-dominated industry. The first of the big names from Japan to do so is our very own Team Green, Kawasaki. The company has taken the wraps off its first full-sized electric motorcycles called the Ninja E1 and ZE1 for 2024. Both take heavy inspiration from the popular Ninja 400 and Z400 but bring an all-new electrifying flavor to the lineup. To jog your memory, we had already shed light on the key parameters of the duo in August via certification documents, all of which are now official. If you've been daydreaming about a record-breaking, stupid fast EV from Kawasaki, this is your cue to look away. That's because the Ninja E1 and ZE1 cater to the entry-level segment, basically serving as an equivalent to 125 cubic centimeters IC bikes. Both hide an air-cooled, interior permanent magnet synchronous motor that promises a maximum output of 12 horsepower, 9 kilowatts, continuous output is 6 kilowatts, and 29 pound-feet. These numbers ensure a claimed top speed of about 62 miles per hour. But you can only sustain it for 15 seconds before it falls to 54 miles per hour. Why you ask? Well, because Kawasaki has debuted an e-boost feature. When triggered, the tech allows you to boost the top speed by a few miles, and it stays active for 15 seconds. It'd be more handy in the city though, as Team Green claims the e-boost also ensures a stronger acceleration. Hence, better overtaking abilities. No acceleration figures are present, however. If you've been daydreaming about a record-breaking, stupid fast EV from Kawasaki, this is your cue to look away. That's because the Ninja E1 and ZE1 cater to the entry-level segment, basically serving as an equivalent to 125cc ice bikes. Both hide an air-cooled, interior permanent magnet synchronous motor that promises a maximum output of 12 horsepower 9 kilowatts. Continuous output is 6 kilowatts, and 29 pound-feet. These numbers ensure a claimed top speed of about 62 miles per hour. But you can only sustain it for 15 seconds before it falls to 54 miles per hour. Why you ask? Well, because Kawasaki has debuted an e-boost feature. When triggered, the tech allows you to boost the top speed by a few miles and it stays active for 15 seconds. It'd be more handy in the city though, as Team Green claims the e-boost also ensures a stronger acceleration. Hence, better overtaking abilities. No acceleration figures are present, however. This is where the Ninja 400 and Z400 reminiscence creeps in. Kawasaki has built its electric motorcycles around a steel trellis chassis identical to the ISIS. Same goes for the non-adjustable 41mm telescopic forks and monoshock, partnered with 17-inch wheels. The hoops were a 290mm disc up front and a 220mm unit out back, both bit by two pot calipers. Before you question the smaller front brake, you should know the Ninja and Z1 weigh 308 and 297 pounds, respectively. That's over 60 pounds less than their IC counterparts. 